When you create an Excel table or put an auto filter onto a list, you get drop downs at the top of the table. And if it's a date column like this one, when I click, I see the dates are grouped. So I've got two years of data, so it's grouped them into those two years. And I can click the plus signs to see the different months and then go in and see each date and select or unselect them. And the same thing if I put a filter on this list by clicking the filter button on the data tab. It puts a drop down in each column heading. And again, the dates are grouped. If you don't like that feature, you can turn it off. You can either do it manually, or if it's something you do a lot, you could record a macro while you do this, and then put that macro as a button up in your Quick Access Toolbar. And to do this manually, go to the File tab and click Options. And in the Options window, we're going to click the Advanced category, and then scroll down about halfway you're looking for display options for this workbook. There are checks that you can add or remove, and this one is the one that's going to change the filter, group dates in the auto filter menu. So remove the check mark from that, click OK. And now when you go back to the list and click the drop down arrow, all the dates are listed individually. It has changed the other filters on this worksheet as well. So this one is all by date. And so is the one that's not an Excel table. And I've got another worksheet that has the same type of data. And when I look at it, all its lists have changed to individual dates as well. So the setting is for the entire workbook for the file that is active. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.